Hey guys, we are the Bitchy Witchies and welcome back to our channel. We're a group of witches who like to talk and give info. But don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button before we get started or after. And also, don't forget to follow us on all our different social media platforms so you can catch up with new, what's coming, and what else we've got for you. The Witch's Broom, or the Besom. It's been a symbol of the witch for many, many centuries. From different cultures to different cultures, a broom is very synonymous with a witch. Why is that? What is its purpose? Why do we have a broom as our symbol? Why does it make everybody think of us when they see a broom? There's so many different reasons and different ways of using a broom and so many different aspects of why a broom has been synonymous with this. So let's get started on what a broom means to us and how we can use it. The earliest depiction of a woman or a witch found was found in 1440 from a poem written by and illustrated by Martin Martin Le Franc in 1440. This came from a poem that he wrote damning women of any kind of non-spiritual or Christian ways. The poem is like 80 pages long, but throughout the whole poem you'll find women riding on brooms and dancing around fires but this is the first depiction of what the world anonymously synonymously thought of witches so now that we have a quick rundown of the earliest depiction of witches with brooms why why do we use them why are they synonymous well Back in the day, medieval times, back when witches were being starting to be persecuted or women of, you know, any kind of medical degree or herbalist or things like that, we, women used to use them. Yes, this could be weird, but we used to use them to um, hallucinate. There were certain herbs that they would turn into ointments and put on the broomstick and, uh, use it between their legs so that it would absorb into their skin and not be ingested. So that was part of some of the rituals and stuff that witches did use it for. They also used it to, you know, bring wealth and fertility into their homes. They used to hide some of their stuff in the broom bristles um, when there used to be home checks for witches and all that wonderful stuff. But brooms nowadays are totally different. We Everybody uses them on everyday life, just like they did back then. You know, it's to keep your home clean um, and everything. But as a witch, we use them differently. We can, when we're doing floor sweeps, when we're putting herbs down to clear um, the energies out, it is for us to remove that negative out of our homes. It's also, you know, um, different types of things. Um, cinnamon broom. I know many of you have seen the cinnamon broom. It's a great holiday decoration these days. But you're supposed to hang those and replace them once a year during the fall, right after Halloween or Samhain, um, because that's to bring your family energy, good energy in, financial, happiness, all that good stuff. So a lot of people, especially around here where I live in the Appalachian, a lot of people still do this tradition, um, which is really cool because a lot of them don't realize what they're doing, but it's just a habit and something that they were raised to do. <clears throat> So, you know, you switch it out every year. Um, so there's a cinnamon broom. You put it above your doorway or at the entrance of your home, somewhere coming towards your door. You can put it outside your door, in the outside, all that good stuff because it repels negative energy. Now, they have the mini ones that you can put under beds. This will protect children and anybody from, you know, bad dreams, spirits coming to them at night. You can place that underneath the bed or behind the bed frame. 
So that's a good thing for a mini cinnamon broom. Now when it comes to broom brooms, you can use them in multiple ways. Some people use them during rituals to cleanse the circle. And when they open a circle, if you are those kind of people who practice where you open and close a circle, it is good to cleanse this, cleanse before and sweep away anything that was brought in and out away. Um, <clears throat> many different, you many people have multiple brooms. You know, you have your everyday cleaning broom. And then when you're cleansing your home, you have a specific broom you use for an energy cleansing uh, broom. Um, I have one. I have a specific broom that I use. You know, um, there's different directions you're supposed to do. If you want to remove energy, you do clockwise. If you want to bring energy in, you do counterclockwise. Um, if you use the old-fashioned kind of brooms, different bristles, like from different plants, you know, there's straw and all that stuff. Those mean different things to different people for different uses. Um, even the wood on the handle is used um, for different purposes. Like if you want a pine handled broom with, you know, straw or a willow, you know, handle and so on and so forth. So different materials for different brooms make for different purposes of using it. <clears throat> Also, don't forget, the broom is not only is not only male nor it is female. It is both, because the broom handle represents the male, and the bristles represent the women. Therefore, it is a different tool that you can use for both male and female energies, depending on what you're doing and what you're using it for. So, <clears throat> with the fertility, you know ritual or cleansing you would use it for both partners male and female or that way you know you have both energies so you have that fertility um energy the broom is used in different cultures there's different things of uh, jumping the broom that's a marital um tradition in a few cultures where you jump the broom some have a specific number of times that you jump the broom this is to bring luck, fertility, and love into your relationship after you've been married. Um, all that good stuff. But don't forget, the broom has also been part of many, many different traditions down the way. So, there's a little bit of back to your basics. Um, if you want to use a broom in your traditions or your practice, Make up some stuff and look up more things, especially if you have a specific practice you're working on with. Look into what the broom means and does for you guys or for your tradition or your practice. Or be like me and everybody else. We use it for specific things or different things. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So peace out, guys.